Greetings, Ray. Thank you for enjoying another greenhouse contemplation. Today I'm on the porch because I planted my aloe. I have four new aloe plants. Um, my name tree is going crazy. So if you look up name, it's crazy healing aloes, crazy healing rosemary, and my own Jesus tree, frankincense. It's my um, frankincense tree takes about 10 years. <laughs> Again, 10 years. So when I get the juicing these things and getting the oils out and stuff like that, I'm going to have some amazing healing. But anyway, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Anyway, as a human being, is to um, learn certain things for yourself. But a lot of times we want to learn stuff that kills us. But it's on you. Today's book is um, The Magical Herb Herbalism by Scott Cunningham. And you see, it says, um, Knowledge was passed down from generation to another, and so the lore was widely circulated and used. Many country folks knew on herbs that was a powerful protection against evil or a certain flower that produced prophetic dreams and perhaps a surefire love charm or two. Witches had their own intricate operations of herbal magic as did the magicians and alchemists. Soon the body of magical knowledge accumulated surrounding the simple herbs that grew by fast running streams, inverted meadows, and high loose leaf cliffs. Many of our ancestors, however, look to the stars um, away from the earth and dream of greater things. In facing towards mechanizing protection, harmony um, became orphaned of the earth and much of the old lore was forgotten but anyway this is a nice little fun book magic herbalism by scott cunningham a secret craft of the wise i don't know if you can see it but anyway i just planted my aloe and some aloe juice is coming out so i say I wait a good two years before you start having fun with these things but I enjoying them. Of course, my neem tree is just outrageous. Grow out. This is um, keeps the mosquitoes away. It's very good. It protects you, so you can create your own mosquito mosquito repellent. Um, this is I can't remember the name of the plant. I wish I had the thing, but um, maybe I'll think of it next time. So again. Um, Everybody must enjoy their rewards because they put their loving, vibrant, healing energy behind things. And, and that's what, how the universe appears to work thus far. Um, if you, you can't see over there, but I got more mint and some other things in my greenhouses back there. Um, but I guess that's it. I mean, because most people, you know... <sighs> It's apparent that most people don't care. They they fantasize and mimic the folks that send them straight to hell. And what I mean by hell is pain and suffering and then trying to do things that's going to make them happy. So <laughs> it's amazing that we must, well, most must get their behinds kicked consistently even to the point of death and then reincarnate to try to realize that, oh, man, hmm. even though we have books, people give us stories and I mean again I've been over and over I've been at this for a long time so hope everybody doing well hope you're enjoying your beautiful Sunday um, the weather out here is lovely cool breeze and and things like that so I don't know if y'all can see me because you know I did my own little camera thing so but thank you for joining me today on my porch contemplation and the amazement of the surrounding things in life and what we can do so i suggest people move out of cities get you a small town and then grow your stuff and enjoy yourself and then visit the big bigger cities or larger cities but you know should move out it's only going to get worse um because cities have chose to go in the direction of destruction so thank you for enjoying the greenhouse today peace